positively beyond doubt. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback in the history of the National Football League. Speaking of football, why don't you go catch some great food for lunch at the Brighton Hot Dog Shop? And I got to believe that Mark Papa, that great name behind the Brighton Hot Dog Shop, who loves his New England Patriots, says, hey, you love football. You got to respect what they've done. And I'm sure my buddy Sam McKinney and company all week over some chili and cheese fries or maybe one of his incredible cheeseburgers with everything on it that he can make for you at the new Brighton Hot Dog Shop right there on 3rd Avenue or any of the Brighton Hot Dog Shops. They're going to be talking about this game. And already people are thinking, how can the Steelers get by New England next year to get back to the big game? Now listen. Reading the Associated Press today on the smartphone, Yahoo Sports, these three words jumped right off the page. Old, outmanned, and frazzled. That's what it appeared to be. But then, that defense that was struggling, they really were, best all year, became the worst. But then, once again, they put the cape on. And they were superheroes. And the comeback began. And that catch by Julian Edelman made you believe in miracles again. They were down 25 points. They went on to win in overtime, 34-28. 25 postseason wins now for Brady and Belichick. Each have five Lombardi trophies. Now, in the third, they were down 28-3, 19 points in the fourth quarter, and a pair of two-point conversions. That six-yard touchdown pass to Danny Amendola, and then James White, the fourth-round draft pick. What a tremendous young man. A great evening for him. One he'll be telling his grandkids about, and they will, in turn, be talking to their family for generations to come. He punches it in from one yard out, and then Amendola gets that two-point conversion, 57 seconds left, into overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how it ended. Now, for those of you who are even thinking that there could be anybody better, and there's been some great ones, Montana, Bradshaw, Kelly, Marino, Bart Starr, Elway, I mean, a lot of great ones. No one has played this game at a high level when so much is on the line like Tom Brady. 43 of 62, 466 yards, two touchdowns. It's all in the statistics. Game after game, season after season. Salute, Brady and the Patriots. Now, let me set this down. We're going to be right back at it in a couple of hours, folks. Rob Pratt Tuesday night starts off at 7 with a great Dr. Gerald Pike for the Allegheny Health Network program, Medical Frontiers, in conjunction with Highmark. Tonight, it's cancer prevention, screening, treatment, all of that. Tonight, your phone calls, 866-391-1020, Dollar Bank, Instant Access, KittyK.com in the 7 o'clock hour. Throughout the night, lots to talk about, especially this whole executive order, the immigration ban that now... The courts have said won't happen, and so far it's been able to hold up. I had on my program yesterday attorney Phil DeLacente. I'm going to share some of the things that he had to say very early Sunday morning so you can hear it in Monday night primetime. He did an excellent job explaining the legalese of this executive order. And then trending today, 97 companies, America's biggest tech companies, listen to this, Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Netflix, and Twitter, Court motion filed last night saying this executive order violates the immigration laws and constitutions. We're going to continue to discuss this all evening, and your phone calls are welcome. Now, tomorrow night at 9, Dr. Terry Madonna will join me as well to talk everything that is politics. And, of course, this, ladies and gentlemen, which has really been a lightning rod over the last couple of days as far as conversation and making headlines throughout the world. Also in studio tonight at 9 o'clock, his legacy continues. My good friend, the late mayor of Pittsburgh, Bob O'Connor, with the Bob O'Connor Foundation. Their St. Patrick party is coming up on February 25th at the Sokol Club on Carson Street. And the wonderful wife of this amazing man that I'm so proud that I had a chance to get to know, Judy O'Connor, will be in studio along with Heidi O'Connor Gar Garth. She is such a driving force behind this charity. Councilman Corey O'Connor and from St. Therese in Munhall, Father Terry O'Connor. So a lot to do. Tonight, and I hope you'll join me on Rob Pratt, Monday night at 7. And I'll leave you with this. 
most big games don't live up to expectations. That's just the way it is. It's getting there that really is probably the most exciting, the journey, if you will. But last night, from Luke Bryant's amazing job with the National Anthem, Lady Gaga performing a halftime show that had no political overtones, just great entertainment. And of course, I must say, because of my friendship with the Hardy family, Joe and Maggie Hardy, so proud to see their commercial and the meaning behind it. Just tremendous, I thought. You just knew something great was going to happen. And I just want to know, if any of you were there when they rolled back the roof for Lady Gaga's performance, was there a full moon last night? Because that would have been a little icing on the cake, because it truly was a magical night. Congratulations to Mr. Goodell and everybody with the NFL. And, well, Mr. Blank, you will be back with that great football team, young football team, and a great young coach, Dan Quinn. And to Mr. Robert Kraft, sir, it couldn't happen to a better man. You have been at this game a long time, and sometimes good things really do happen to good people. Have a great day, everybody, from the Pratt Pack Gym. Oh, yeah. Never would I forget that. See ya.